Alright, welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, on the video. As you can see here, by the title, Pushing the Pool. So basically, this is me, this Sunday AM, where I began a deep tissue massage that I really, really, really needed because my back and shoulders completely snapped up from a bunch of heavy lifting. I decided to go ahead and switch things up. I was training with the earthquake bar mostly. So you can see here, I'm doing a reverse grip bench. So I did about five sets. 8 to 12 reps allowed. Most of my reps are actually pause, go, pause, rest. I understand, trying to get ready. Do some stuff in Ohio. I'll mention that later on in this video. But anyway, also this weekend, I tried to grenade Carb Killer Peanut Nutter Bars, and these bars are freaking amazing. Only got two of GNC. I should have got a whole bunch more. But anyway, back to the lift. So, yeah, as you can see here, pretty much did that. A little bit of touch and go action. And I started going around doing some barbell bent over rolls, but to push things up and uh, switch up the grips. It was also good for your joints. Started to go ahead and do the neutral grip with the hex bar for barbell bent over rolls. And you can see here, didn't go too stupid heavy with it. It's based on 52 pound bar, 245 pound plate. So I did my 8 12 rounds of that. And right afterwards, went back to the power rack and did some incline bench time with a pronated grip. And as you can tell, definitely in this clip, when I went to incline, made sure. Made sure that I did touch and go because, as I mentioned earlier, a certain thing I'm going to be doing on high where I do bench, touch and go, is probably going to be a very important as well as doing some pulling. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. But anyway, speaking of pulling, right doing this, I went right doing some pull ups. Okay, had about five sets of pull-ups right doing all that stuff. I was almost gassed. Hence, I don't get, go to the massage service and really snapped up. I decided to do some seated decline chest press. With my ball less resistance band, you can see right here. So I did about five sets of 8 to 12 reps on that. And you also notice I did get a nice upgrade from Dick Sporting Goods. So I do have the heavier bands. They're not ball lessons, but they're Dick's variation of from Life Fitness. I think I got the right name. I'm sorry, Fitness Gear. And I like what I used previously. These actually go to 100 pounds. And it feels like I'm pressing 100 pounds right now. So yeah. Almost like pressing 250 pound dumbbells. But anyway, right doing that. Of course, I thought I put that do some pulling. And I had to pull in my man, Bull Sweet Fitness Technique. A little side by side variation with lap pull down. So I decided to do that. Along with some regular reps of Lap pull down with a supinated grip and then 10 with a pronated, sorry, 10 with a pronated grip and then 10 with a supinated grip. And of course, you guys already know pronated is going to be like more your rear delts, upper part of your lats. Reverse grip, supinated is going to be a little bit lower in your lats and more bicep action at the same time.
All right, one more quick announcement. I will be attending the Real Weights for Real Heroes presented by TireFitness.com in Ohio, which will take place on August the 19th in Middletown, Ohio at the Park Station Gym. And basically this will be for the Semper Fi, sorry, Semper Fi Fund. And basically the Semper Fi Fund provides immediate financial assistance and lifetime support to host 9-11 wounded, critically ill, and injured members of all friends of U.S. Armed Forces and their families, and pretty much make sure they have the resources they need during their recovery sessions and back to their communities. And since I had the time to do it and the money, as you know, let me go ahead and donate to this. And I also put my social situation where I'm like, check my schedule, I will be in the area. So I said, you know, let me go ahead and cough a hundred dollars to go ahead and compete versus $20 to watch. And then the good part is, if you're watching this on the 23rd of July, there are plenty of hotels in the area that are pretty much between $50 to $80 a night. And these are pretty much your middle of the round hotels, so way better than hot, but go to that. Better than Econo Lounge. Econo Lounge is 30 is going to be real cheap, but yeah, if you want to get a hotel that's not a roast hotel, $60 would be good. Get one big enough for your place, about $80. If you want to be boozy, probably $120. Alright, guys, that was this video at this point for real. Thank you guys so much for watching. So much for watching, please rate and subscribe. Stay tuned for a quick chimichanga announcement. Come to boot camp now! And we'll have to take care of Francis. Chimichangas! Work them off! Okay, power's on.